Uh, so guys, to do the pom-pom mat, you have to first of all learn how to do a fluffy pom-pom. Yeah, you will find that most people have done the pom-pom, but it is not as fluffy as this one. And so the mat end up like it is not as round. The balls are not being seen clearly. So how do you make a pom-pom? Let me show you how I normally make my pom-pom. To make a fluffy pom-pom, you are going to need the chunk yarn. The chunk yarn is the big yarn that you normally use to make the shaggy mat. You're also going to need some scissors, yeah, sharp scissors. You're also going to need a brush, yeah. The, you know the shoe brush that you normally use to clean the shoes. If you don't have a smaller one, mine, I normally use the wire brush. But you can also use this one if that is if this is what you have so it doesn't matter you're going to see why i normally use this one I'll, at what stage i use this so i normally just use my hands i take the yarns and then i make rounds i normally make like uh, 60 to 80 rounds so i normally make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten sometimes i don't even count i just do it and then i'll say at what stage it is enough so you just make rounds make rounds you can try making 80 rounds before you become a pro on this okay so i'm just making rounds making rounds once it's enough i'm going to tell you any the size of the pom pom that i want if you want a smaller pom pom then you don't have to make a lot of rounds you just have to make few like 50 also so for me i can just look at my yarn and i can tell this one is enough then i normally remove like that then i cut here using my scissors and then i'll also cut another piece that i'll use to tie now this is the tricky part the tying part because you have to do it tight if you don't if you pull your yarns like this they are going to come out if you don't do it tight so you have to tie this part very tight so you can see how i'm doing it you hold one side you still tighten it firmly again then I'll hold this yarn and I'm going to cut. You see the reason why you need sharp scissors. So you end up with this. You while holding at this loose yarn, you just cut the excess yarn, making a good circular shape. You can see what I have so you end up with something like this after you have this you can see maybe I can place it here that is how it looks after you have this you then use your brush I've said you can also use this type of a brush it doesn't have to be a special brush so you just brush your, your yarns uh, by doing this Okay, I can say it makes your pom pom look fluffy and it also makes the yarns to fall together and they don't fall apart like they were doing previously. So after you comb it with the yeah, you can still cut the excess. You end up with this so this is what you have at last you can
can see. Let's look at it. It is fluffy and the yarn is just stays together even if you even if you shake it or what just stays together like this one. So that's how you make pom-pom guys. So we proceed to the next step.